This 14-year-old girl is accused of stabbing her sister to death. Police say Claire Miller repeatedly told officers, I stabbed my sister. Wow. I am lost for words. The diversity on TikTok is insane. You have innocent people like Charlie D'Amelio doing the renegade. We got Zoe Laverne, a child groomer who is now having a child. And now there's a girl who murdered her own sibling. And it's not the first time that the word TikTok and the word murder have been associated together. Many of you might have heard of the TikToker Zachary Latham who killed his own neighbor. And now we got Claire Miller. To me, it's honestly terrifying that every day we mindlessly scroll through our For You page, you know, seeing dozens and dozens of new faces and we truly don't know who these people are and what they've done or what they're about to do. So on my channel, I typically talk about trending news on TikTok and YouTube and usually I like to give you guys a laugh, you know, make a bunch of jokes and everything like that. But I came across this recent TikTok news about this girl who killed her own sister and it's just something that I have to cover on my channel. I found this one article by Fox News and they cover the news and about what happened with this girl pretty well. So. Let's take a look. A 14 year old Pennsylvania teen was accused of stabbing her older sister to death inside their home while their parents slept early Monday. Claire Miller of Mannheim Township was charged with criminal homicide as an adult in the death of her 19 year old sister, Helen. When officers arrived at the home, they found Claire Miller standing outside and spotted what appeared to be blood in the snow near the driveway. The teen also appeared to have blood on her pants. Officers said they heard her repeatedly say, I stabbed my sister and watched as she appeared to try washing her hands in the snow. Wow. This is just one of those news stories that you hear that make you speechless and like lost, completely lost for words and just give you a sick feeling in your stomach. Hearing this, I'm really interested as into like how this happened. Like what drives a human being from going to school, making TikTok, to actually doing these horrific things. So her account did get permanently banned by TikTok on February 25th but I did manage to get access to a few of her old TikToks. And I want you guys to take a look at this one in particular. My dad has to stop opening the conversation with this is just like the gay bar in Japan. It was the last one that she posted and it happened only one day before the terrifying incident. So I don't exactly know what that caption about the Japanese bar means, but when I saw this TikTok and I noticed that it was posted only a day before what she did, it honestly gave me the chills. Just by looking at her, you can tell that something was off. Typically from what I noticed that in her TikTok, she wears makeup and gives off that gothic style. But in the TikTok she posted a day before doing what she did, she wasn't wearing her usual style and she looked really angry. And it just makes you wonder what changed, what drove this girl to do such a horrific thing. Like killing someone is one thing, but then you have killing a disabled person. And then you have killing a disabled person who happens to be your sister. Now, I don't know why this happened, but one of the possibilities that I am worried about, and if, if, I hope it's not true, but one of the possibilities could be that she did this for clout. Now, this is likely not the reason, but as I mentioned earlier, there was that one TikToker, Zachary Latham, who was gaining a decent following until one day he ended the life of his own neighbor, supposedly for views and to make him famous. I also heard about this one incident in Nashville where this guy did a fake robbery prank. And let's just say, well, that prank sadly had a permanent end to it. It's disturbingly shocking that nowadays how far people are willing to go for clout. Back in the Vine days, people would maybe hit a basketball with their head or wear a Spider-Man costume, but now people are doing the absolute most. And I hope that this was not the intention, but if it was, sadly to say it worked. I found her TikTok account about a day after the terrifying event occurred and she had about 800 followers or so. And her account got deleted pretty quickly and only took a few days. But last time that I checked, when it got deleted, it had about 50,000 followers. The fact that nearly 50,000 people follow this girl's TikTok account knowing what she did, it's sickening.
Okay, so I was taking a look at her mugshot and that's when I noticed something pretty terrifying. If you look at her neck, you'll notice a few scratch marks and they look pretty fresh. And I have a theory as to how she got those scratch marks, but just a heads up, it's pretty scary. So her older sister has cerebral palsy, which is a group of disorders that essentially affect muscle movement. And as a result, people who have it, such as Helen Miller, are on a wheelchair. And I'm just thinking that if you're in a wheelchair and someone approaches you trying to attack you, they're gonna be above you like that. And the first thing that you're gonna do to try to defend yourself is reach up. My theory as to how she got those scratches is that they were from Helen trying to defend herself. She was either in her wheelchair or laying down until Claire approached her with the knife. And what I'm thinking happened is that she reached up and tried to scratch her sister in an attempt to defend herself. The, this entire situation, it, it just breaks my heart. It truly does. I'm just wondering what could drive a human being to do such a horrific thing. Killing someone is one thing, but when that someone is in a wheelchair and they're your own sister, it takes a very sick person. So I found this one TikTok that Claire posted about a month ago and it was a compilation of her father and he's just being a father, you know, silly, goofy, just a lovable type of guy. But for the sake of his privacy, you know, just his identity, I'm going to be blurring out the video. So in one of those clips in the compilation, he's laughing, but if you look very closely in the top left corner, you can see a girl in a wheelchair. And I'm assuming that that girl there is Helen. She looks so sweet and innocent, you know, just laughing, having a great time. And you have to give it to her. She fought an entire 19 years with this disorder. And it's, it's not an easy disorder. It is really hard and painful to live with this type of thing. And honestly, my respect goes to Helen for putting up a whole 19 years fighting this thing. And it's honestly just devastating that after all this pain and all this fighting, her life just gets taken away one day like this. Okay, so I'm not sure if many of you know, but I am in university and I study psychology and criminology. So hearing cases like this, they interest me. I research these types of things and I'm really interested into, you know, finding out what drives someone to do such a horrific thing. So I was watching a few other commentators talk about this news and 99% of them were saying things like, this girl is a monster, she should have never been born. And with what I'm about to say, I am not trying to defend the girl by any means at all. But you guys have to understand that no one is simply born a monster. Yes, some people are born a little different, like genetically they are more prone to certain types of things, but a lot of it has to do with nurture. So in other words, social aspects. The horrific actions that Claire did could have been the result of a mix of bullying, abusive parents, the media she's exposed to. I also noticed that she's an anime or goth type of girl. So I'm making the assumption, and I know I shouldn't be making the assumption, but I am guessing that she didn't have many friends. But my theory as to why she killed her sister in particular, and this is sad, I, I know it's what I'm about to say is sad, but I'm just trying to make sense of things and try to figure out what could drive someone to do such a thing. But what I'm thinking is that when she was born, she was daddy's little girl, mommy's little girl. But as she got older and because her sister is disabled and needs a lot of care, possibly her older sister got more attention than Claire. So essentially my theory is that maybe Claire was jealous of all the attention and love that Helen was receiving and you guys kind of know what happened from there. And look, I, I don't know this for sure. I'm only in my second year of university. So, you know, I, I still have a lot more to learn. I'm no professional by any means, but just from what I've learned and my knowledge, this would be my first speculation as to what drove Claire Miller to doing such a horrific thing. I honestly doubt it, but if by any chance, you know, the friends, family, or loved ones of both Helen and Claire are watching this, it's, it's a lot. I know it's a lot to deal with, you know, especially the father or the mother, you know, losing two of your daughters, both your daughters in a single day like this. It's, it's, it's sad. I know. And I just want to say my condolences go out to you. I, I truly do mean that. I'm really curious what's going to happen from here with the court case and everything. I am assuming this, like no doubt this girl's going to be going to a mental hospital and I feel guilty to even ask for likes. But if you guys did like my coverage on this video, your like would mean a lot because it would make my video do better in the algorithm and it just, I want more people to get, you know, the kind of this, this criminological, psychological approach to the situation. I want people to be able to hear that. But anyways, guys, 
that's officially gonna do it for this video. So I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. So my final message before I let you guys all go is just to treat people with kindness because you do not know what they're going through and you do not know what they're capable of. So that's really all I have to say.